Hello, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all well. I am absolutely fine. It's lovely to be back here with you after having had a couple of days off. I've got deja vu because I've just spent the last 15 minutes doing my introduction and talking to you and the camera didn't appear to be rolling. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'm rested. You'll get the short version now. I'm rested, I've had a couple of days off. It's been lovely, I've not done anything much in particular. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Neil's been home. Um, yeah, really recharging my batteries and, and I kind of need it. Uh, blood still yo-yoing from high to low and back again. So, um, but I'm okay. You know, they're checking me every week and they're altering my um, prescription every week. So yes, hopefully it'll settle and we'll get there. Right, what was I doing? I'll have to finish this because I was in the middle I was in the middle of gluing this when um, when I realised the, the cam wasn't rolling. Um, <laughs> so let me just finish sticking this on and then I'll explain what I'm doing. So I haven't, I'm sticking it on this, I haven't um, done anything particular with the kit since uh, I filmed last week. It was my intention too, but I didn't. So I did some little bits while the film was uploading. Um, but yeah, I've not done anything with it since then. So um, I just wanted to get this glue in before we started. So this is a piece out of this year's kit. Um, I think I was saying to you that these add-on kits, um, this one's Tanya's that I'm using at the moment, Tanya's Static Treasure. Um, and I'm trying to use mostly just Tanya's kit. I'm not I'm not using any of Nanine's kit in this project this year. I'm trying to keep them separate initially. I have pulled a few bits from um, my box of lovelies. <laughs> so I've got a dedicated Alice box because I love it so much that it's got all the ephemera and um, uh, yeah, off cups and you know pieces from the kit, pieces that I've made that are you know not from the kit at all. All sorts of things, book pages, um, pieces that Tanya have sent me, that sent me, and obviously all my little tiny fussy cut embellishments there. Um, so yeah, I'm using bits out of that. So I have got one or two bits from from last year that I'm pulling into this this journal. But generally, this is the the ten page add on kit for 2023 uh, from Tanya and um, I'm then going to do uh, a project with Nanines um, which is another 10 pages completely different uh, kit I've just realized that I started my phone timer but I didn't start this I, I must have started the phone timer and that's why I thought I was filming <laughs> um, so what was I saying yeah, so this is from this kit from this year. Now, they do add on to last year's kit, which is huge. Both Nanine's, who is collage type, and Tanya's. Both the kits from last year, the original kits are massive. Um, I think there's a kit and, and an add-on ki kit in both um, shops. Um, so this is a, you know, a second add-on kit. Now, the add-on kits work absolutely on their own. No problem. You don't have to have any of the other kits to go with them, even the main kit. So, you know, if you just buy an add-on kit, you absolutely can make, you know, some fabulous projects with it. It's not just like a bit of ephemera or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so it's my intention to just use this one. I know I'm pulling a, a few bits from, from last year to make this project. Then I'm going to uh, go on and use Nanine's kit all on its own to make another, another journal of some description. I don't know what yet. And then, I will be putting everything I've got. So all this, or well, not necessarily, but I will be pulling from that box that you've just seen. And, you know, both add-on kits from this year and both sets of kits from last year to make a big three signature grungy journal. Um, I did one last year and I loved it. Thoroughly enjoyed making it. And yeah, you, you guys seem to enjoy watching it. So that's what I'm going to do. That's my intention. Um, that won't be, you know, day in, day out. It'll only be on certain days of the week. And uh, yeah, I do intend to just, you know, have at least one day, if not two days a week off still, um, just because it's working well for me. So I haven't looked at it. That's where I started. I haven't looked at it since last week, particularly. And I know I've got these markers in here for pockets. I've got three markers and two pockets that I can find. Now, these were pockets that I cut down, made smaller from last year's kit. Um, there are in Nanine's kit a few of these 
tall skinny pockets and journal cards you know that that I knew I just didn't want to mix them so I, I made one up so I thought this was going in the back I thought I decided it was going in the back here now I know I could look back at the last video but where's the fun in that <laughs> rather than just guessing and making it up so I thought that was going in the back but that would leave me three places for pockets I should have I should have just put them in like that shouldn't I now it can't be there because I wouldn't have wanted one under that vellum so I must be must be wanting one there and I'm not sure I like the slant that way so maybe that's going there do we think let's put it there and see well you must have been going there so you're still slanting the wrong way if you're going there have I lost a pocket somewhere hmm. where was the other one that I said we could have a, oh yeah on that that was a bit thinner wasn't it so I liked it see I've taken that out now I think I liked it better where was it there no there no that's not where I wanted it I wanted it next to the teacups so where was that <laughs> oh have I driven you mad already it was there so that's the one I've just taken out yeah I do like I like him the mad hatter because he's got a cup of tea and a slice of cake. No, well, it could be a sandwich or a slice of cake, I don't know, from the tea party. So yeah, we'll have him in there. And I'm not sure if I like her there either. I think she goes better with the colours of this page there. So what was I going to have there? Don't know. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I was going to put her now. I'm pretty sure she was going in the back. Yeah, um, I still haven't decided about the front yet. And um, yeah, this is going to be an over the page. So this is from this year's kit. <laughs> oh, it's really thrown me not, not filming and talking. I was so organized, I went through everything. <laughs> uh, and it's going to be an over the page, did I say that? With a bit of journaling on the back. That's why I wanted to, uh, to back it. So I backed it on the piece of paper that I had from last year's kit um, and bent it over there before I oops like that yeah so because the playing cards that's the beauty of playing cards <laughs> they're the same both ways up aren't they so yeah that can bend over and be a let's stand it under something for a little bit oh under there uh, yeah and over the page and I also sat and made this um, these are my favourite things to make. So this was another piece. This file folder piece was from last year's kit. It was in my box. I had a few of them. Um, yeah, and all I did was put a couple of book pages together um, to put some of the ephemera in. So I had three uh, playing cards left from the ones that I printed on yellow card last year. And a couple of these really, really big um, quotes. So I thought that make, made a nice little ephemera selection um, now I'm going to make one with you if I made it a little bit smaller it could fit in one of those it's got the nice flowers on it let's have a look and um, because what I'm thinking is let me ink it no don't ink it first <laughs> I know everything's down at the bottom but I, we, we have got some nice tall tall tags you know for going up um, and it doesn't it do, I don't mind that the pockets are smaller and at the bottom now I know I could put bigger pockets but I'm, I'm working with what I've got and um, yeah I'm, I'm quite liking the small pockets at the bottom and the amount of room I'll take more than that off I'm just trimming it instead of cutting it down yeah I'm liking the amount of journal journal room at the top yeah see I can make a nice small one there Um, obviously it needs to come out that's the thing it would only have to be clipped in wouldn't it we've got any, we haven't got anything else clipped in have we so there's nothing wrong with one obviously it won't have a bright yellow clip on it 
so I'm, yeah I'm just working out if I like it you know to be unclipped from there and leave a full page of of writing we could have this uh, on there as well but I don't no that's not appealing to me right I've got some big cutouts as well just deciding <laughs> deciding what I want to do now that could still be written over couldn't it so I've got the horse we've got a really big king and queen here I like the horsey though the knight yeah do you think he count he does kind of counterbalance it doesn't he up in that pocket pocket that's not a pocket it's a corner Denise <laughs> goodness me so it is quite early in the morning i know i said good afternoon to you but it'll be afternoon before this goes up because so i'm filming on the day it goes up um so yeah it's fairly early i have only had two cups of tea <laughs> um and it's raining but it's exciting because simba's been out in the rain now i did think when i saw it oh he's not gonna like that i'm gonna have trouble with him today and for those of you that don't know we've only had him a few we had him six months now maybe what was i gluing on this um yeah and he was he was rehomed from a house where he he had lots of brothers and sisters <laughs> and uh, yeah she couldn't keep them all so um he'd never been outside so he was a four-year-old indoor cat and i know lots of people do have indoor cats i'm not saying anything against an indoor cat but um you know we live in a place where we've got a garden because he was in a flat and uh, you know it's quite a nice area it's not busy road or anything like that so there's absolutely no reason i'm home all day why he, you know he shouldn't be allowed to go out so it took us a while to to get him to do it but yeah he, every day he is becoming more and more an outdoor cat so i can see when summer comes love that i can see when summer comes he's not going to be in we've had cats in in the past that are like um just love the outdoors come in to eat bit of a cuddle you know an odd an odd snooze and then off again all night long which is nice living the best lives aren't they i think that's what he's going to be doing um but yeah so his first his first morning or foray out into the rain <laughs> and i thought it would be so he went which surprised him to start with so i thought oh it's going to be a quick run to the garden quick wee <laughs> and back in and you know probably giving me a bit of a telling off for allowing it to rain but it was gone ages i put the kettle on made a cup of tea and i was looking out and he was just looking <laughs> looking around him himself in wonder and awe i think at the rain and it, it kind of brought a lump to my throat and i thought oh, how how amazing to uh, never have been out in the rain and, and suddenly suddenly you are <laughs> i want the picture uh, inside but the right way up so there <laughs> you'd like it all in if i can right so these are the bits that are going on the inside here so when that opens up you know in the pocket you'll you will see that picture that's that's my idea and uh, yeah that's plenty big enough so let's this one looks like it's been folded a thousand times but there's no reason why it won't work so i want the inside the right way up we'll go like that okay so you just need two pieces of uh, well book page or papers or anything um, and I'm just kind of measuring as I go now you can you know take measurements and measure so we want it less than less than the size of the text I might even use this because when you cut two pieces of page together they move don't they they move about so let's try and get some straight ish sides doesn't matter if they're not so inside the text there's no text this side to look at there is <laughs> Lay you up. Okay, how are we doing? It needs to be smaller than, not much, but a little bit smaller than. Make a bit more off here. Measure you both up. So yeah, so he came in and had his his breakfast, and then he came upstairs while his dad was getting ready for work to. Uh, you know kind of look at him in wonder <laughs> as if to say do you know what's going on out there dad and then yes neil went down for his breakfast he's gone out again and uh, yeah he's come back not soaking not not wet through to his skin but yeah 
his coat quite wet. <laughs> he is now sleeping it off on my chair, of course. Nice and dry. And uh, yeah, it looks like it might be about to brighten up. But yeah, these little things made his days, made up my day as well a little bit, really. <laughs> Seeing something like that. Okay, so if you haven't made one of these before, I, I mustn't forget that there are people that haven't. I've done loads of these. So you file folder either out of a kit or just, a, you know, folded up papers. Um, preferably with your images front and back the right way, but it doesn't have to be. You know, however you make just a, a fold down piece like that, but joined. And then these pieces are going to go be stuck together and then be stuck in there so that when you open it, they like, what is it? Accordion, that's it. I'm trying to think, what, what, what have I done with it? It opens up like an accordion. Let me take these bits out. Just like that, so you can grab. And you can put as many of these in as you want. So you could put three, four, five, six. You know, I have made some really big ones of these. Um, so yeah, they're really, they're really easy to make. It looks complicated, but honestly, it's not. So just cut your pieces of paper to size. You know, it doesn't matter if you've got um, plain paper with the pictures, uh, plain paper or pictures or text, whatever you want. Just um, get them the way that you want them. So you see, this one's going to be upside down, but it's going to be attached to this, so you won't see it mostly. Same with that one. Okay, stop waffling, Denise. <laughs> so you get one of those and as many of these as you want. And then you go down these and close them at the edges. So you're making little um, pockets. And I think if you've never made one of these, just grab some book pages or some spare paper out your scrap box. Oh, that's what I could do with my scrap box. I could make some of these, couldn't I? And just glue, glue some little pockets like this. You know, because this is easy. Anyone can do this. And now I'm going to ink the edges before I do any further gluing. Just make sure that glue's well and truly stuck. Now this is, um, it's not old paper. It's new paper, this book, but it's very... Um, it's a bit sugar papery, if you know what sugar paper is, texture-wise. It's um, sort of fibrous. So if you don't give the, the art glitter glue time, i found, it, it comes open. It, it has stuck, but it, it's like the, the fibres come apart. Am I making sense? Okay, so make sure you've got your... Oh, I didn't, I didn't do a... Your openings to the top. I didn't do a divot in them. Now, I, oops, openings to the top and the inside the right way around. So facing front, so that's it. Get them the right way around. I'm gonna put a divot in um, now. But if you do it before you glue them together, you can put them, do them both together and get them both identical. Now, it's just so it's a little bit easier to open it. You don't have to have the divots in. I just prefer and you can have them on both sides if you want, but I just, you know, so you can see what's in. I just prefer a little bit of a, you know, a thumb hole. Um, so that you can open them up easier. Depending on the size and what, what the papers you've made them with, some open easier than others. Now, of course, they open when you, when you pull them forward as well. So, okay, so now I know I've got them the right way up. Yep, and the picture one at the front, I think. Are you the picture? Yeah, the right way up. Yes, okay. So then we're not going to do any more gluing down the sides now. They're the only things that glue down the side. This one wants gluing down the middle. Yeah, sorry guys, just stick with me. I'll fast forward if, you, if you're not new and you know you know what you're doing here. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to give some instructions to some newbies. Okay, we want them nice and straight at the uh, flat at the bottom. That's the main thing. If you haven't got them exactly the same size, you want them level there because they go in in here. And again, we're not going to stick it to the side like that. The way that they concertina out 
is by um, exactly the same thing up the middle. Let's make sure that that's dry. So you can see how it's starting. I'm not going to pull it until it's properly dried. So place it in how you want it. Make sure you are low down but not into the crease there. And again, just a, a layer or a blob of glue down the middle. Yep, and then turn the back and the same up the back, just down the middle. I'm just going to leave that there two minutes to properly dry. For the same reason that I said earlier. Um, you know about the paper and the the glue. Let me just put my pin in. Whoops! Come on, fighting me. And lid on that. And where is that over the page uh, piece that I just had? I lost it. Must be under here. Oh, it's not. Did I leave it in? No. Hmm. <laughs> How long did that take for me to lose something? I bet I was showing you in my box. Did it go in there? No, I don't think. I think I had it after that, didn't I? Did I? Huh. Oh, I'm sure I was showing you it after I had my box out. Sure I was. Well, there's a nice long sideways pocket. Look, from the previous kit. No, it's not in there. Right. So that's my glue paper and it's not on that. Move that. Let's stand it under something to dry. I did once, didn't I? But oh, that's all my printing I've been doing. I'll share that with you in a minute. Well, it must be in this book. It, oh, I see it. I see it. Could you see it sat there? It's because it's got this pinky, peachy colour on the background now. It didn't look like it. Right. I was just going to ink it, but I've inked it, haven't I? <laughs> I was just going to ink it while that dried. It must have dried now while I was looking for this. Just so it's ready to go. Now I'll put some pockets in. I'll just have to show you these because they sat here winking at me just while that dries. Do you remember I was saying in one of my previous videos, um, beginning of the week, I think, or maybe the weekend, I used a vellum butterfly that I'd got in a book. I just had a, a small page, a small what were they, six by six page of butterflies, and I've used them all now. And I thought, oh, I'll have to try printing some on vellum. Why, they came out brilliant. Um, so these are uh, Nanine's latest butterfly kit. Um, I've got two pages of it printed onto vellum um, and I've been cutting them out and look how they curl up <laughs> because you know well it's only like 60 GSM vellum mine so you know the heat so it's like those you used to get them in crackers didn't you where you put the fish on your hand and it, it gets hot and it jumps around it's supposed to tell your fortune. This is obviously how they do it look look from the heat on my hand they turn into proper butterflies and obviously they'll They'll glue down flat again, but they're like um, oh, they're like stained glass windows. I've got a piece of white paper, especially when the light, you know, the light is through them. Don't know if you how well you can see that or not with the light shining on it. Absolutely beautiful, and, and of course these are really these ones from Nanine are really colourful. So yeah, that's all I've cut out so far, but fabulous. And I've gone on and done lots of other things on vellum because it got me excited. So I'll show you in a minute what I've printed. Um, but let's let's do a little bit in here first, shall we? Or we're never going to get anywhere. I still haven't put the lace on. I think I said I was going to do that, didn't I? So we're going to have lace and beads on here. But let's get these pockets in. Right, so this is where I was going to have that. Okay, that's what we've just made look. <laughs> and there it is. Okay, so what have we got? I'm not putting both of these in this one, so just this one will go in, in here. So let's find something to put in it and then we'll put the pocket in. So I've got some more playing cards here. Um, let me put a couple of playing cards in. We'll have to have the Queen of Hearts, won't we? Let's have the Queen of Hearts and the Jack of Hearts. 
Ace of Clubs, if you put those three in. And what else? Let's have something from this year's kit in then. So we've got those lovely, yes, let's put those in, these big tickets that are joined together. Is this one joined together? Now I separated them out as tickets. Let's put that in. Shall we put an Alice in as well? No, you're too tall. Let's put one of these in. Yeah, this blue will pop, won't it? Because there, there's, there's no blue. Oh, there is some blue. There is some blue because the Nanine's coloured uh, Alice's dress in blue, hasn't she? So, yeah, it will still pop. There is a bit of blue in this. Yeah, OK, so there you are. This is one that's going in here then. We'll probably put a label on it as well. But let's... Uh... Oh, no, it's not going to be glued down. It's going to be stuck down. <laughs> it's not going to be stuck down. It's going to be... It's going to be clipped in, that's what I was trying to say. I quite like the colour of it, but once uh, I like these coppery ones as well. Love hearts. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, did I do that? <laughs> Hang on. Bear with. <laughs> it's like one of those wire puzzles. I think I might like the little heart at the front. Let's let's give it a go. Oh, oh yeah, I like that. Oh, it's got to go sideways a bit, I see. Sideways on heart. Yeah, that's it, it's nice. Yeah, it doesn't matter that, that comes open. I mean, it will shut when the book shuts, but and it will learn to be shut, but it needs to come open to get what's in it. This is the problem with having a couple of days off. I feel like I'm waffling now. <laughs> Some days I have nothing to say. Now I feel like I'm waffling. Never mind. Um, yes, I really like that up there. So I'm happy with that page now. Again, I'm not sure what's going in there yet. That will be for next week, which will be the final day finishing it. Um, I might need a bigger clip on that. I'll see. See how it fares. Yeah, I decided not to put anything on there, didn't I? Because it was so beautiful. This needs to go in here. I know, I know this is for the back one, but it would be nice in there. <laughs> did I get any tags? Did I not get any tags ready? I can't remember. I'm going to have to re... Excuse me. Um, score this because I scored it before... Excuse me a minute, concentrating. <laughs> I scored it before I backed it, so the backing hasn't got a score on it. If you if you understand my meaning, that's it. It just helps. Helps me a lot if they're scored. You fall in between the. Not to get it exact. Don't fall between. That's it. We've done it. That's all it needed. So it will fold back now. Squeak. Yep, yeah, and bottom one over the other two if it's bigger. Just that's the way to do it so that you don't get caught at the bottom with your tag. Nobody wants to get caught at the bottom with the tag, do they? <laughs> oh my, Denise. Sometimes. Right, divot. I think I decided no divot, didn't I? Just because of the long, tall theme that's going on. I didn't want to make this shorter or appear shorter. Right, I'm going to go up. I couldn't decide if my lines weren't quite the right or it was the cutting here, but it's the, it's the page here, I think. So I'm going to put it straight on a line. Lower down or higher up? No, lower down, I think. And yeah, we might put some embellishment on it next next week. But um, I can see some vellum butterflies going in here, definitely. <laughs> I'm not embellishing today. I'm just putting pockets in. And seeing what tags we need. Then I'll give you a quick show of me printing. It was a bit of a bit of a tease for a kit that's coming up. Um, another co collaboration between Tanya and Nanine coming up. 
I think March the 1st so um, I've got some well, I've got the kit but I'm not going to show you that obviously but I've got some freebies from uh, Tanya freebies that will be free to you guys um, buy me a coffee Patreon you know Treasure and Friends Facebook group she does freebies for you all and she said we can share them those of us in Facebook we, you know the moderators we can share them now we don't have to wait till 1st of March so that's nice okay I'm noticing my um, art is just taking a little little longer these days to stick than than normal. Normally you put it down here it would be grabbed. Yeah, that's fine. Um, did I not have any tags then? I thought I had tags ready for these. Must not have. Right, so this one is going into stash. Um, that one's going in the back. So the other one's clipped in. So no, there's no tags, is there? Are there? That was going to be a journal card, but it doesn't go there anyway. Um, okay, so we need a tag for that. There's some tags in the kit, so what have I done with those? Now, there's a good question. Well, we won't fret it. Yeah, I'd embellished that. Oh, that wanted backing, didn't it? Let's stick that on a piece of this. So this is just a... Well, it is on yellow. This piece is on white, but I don't think it will matter if I back it. Just make it a little bit thicker for a journal card. Does it matter where it goes? The clock's kind of nice, isn't it? The watch. All right, sort of right bang smack in the middle. Why not? It's only paper. I print some more, can't I? Okay. Can you remember where it was? <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be like a torn round journal card rather than a cut neat one. Let's get the clock the right way up though. Yeah, we're about there somewhere, I think. That will do. So I'll cut round it now while it dries. I've got some pieces for scrap on backing. Round it. No point rip round it till it's dry, because it just won't it won't rip or tear, whatever word you prefer, properly. Keep those scraps on the couch over there. Um, yeah. So will I be doing anything else to that? Might have a label on it and a bit of ink. That will be all. Okay. I know we did most of the embellishing, didn't we, last week? Still need to have a think about that. Don't want to put anything on here to cover it. I mean that one that one can be written on no problem. You know, with a black or a coloured pen. No, I'm going to leave it. I said I was. I said last week I was. <laughs> Don't change your mind. Let's do this with this again. Get rid of that in case it's driving your your eyes for me. See, time just flies. It flies when you're having fun. Yeah, so I'll have to uh, locate the tags. I'm sure there was tags in this kit. I'll locate them for next uh, next Thursday because that will be... Oh, you were very not straight. Let's try that again. Oh, well, we'll just fold you where you are and then... Yeah, that will be the last... Well, it won't be the last one, but it'll be me finishing this particular journal. So it'll be the last, um, you know, design team part of it, if you like. So this is what um, Tanya and Anine's asked um, the members of the design team to do. A day each week in February. Doing some kind of a pro project. So, yeah, so this one will be finished next Thursday because that will be my last Thursday in February. But I am then going on to work on on Nanine's part. Like I said, right, you're going on here, aren't you? And yeah, we need you in really, so because it's a kind of a tuck pocket sort of a thing. Okay, <laughs> sort of a thing I make job. You see, you could just make this with the freebie 
uh, paper, the um, that collage sheet piece. And there's freebies from last year as well. So, you know, if you go into Tanya's uh, Buy Me A Coffee, you'll see all the bits and pieces around. Uh, and the same with the Patreon. If you join her Patreon, all the freebies that, that she's got on there, you know, you can have from the months before you were joined. So that's can't be bad, can it? worth joining for a month just to get all the freebies should I say that probably not <laughs> but you know yeah I can have a nice chunky piece in there if I want because it's gusseted and it's open now if I find I don't like it I can um, I can glue it down partly so we'll see we'll see how that goes was that it for there yeah so I just need two tags do I know the back the back the back I just need two tags uh, for next week so yeah I remember them now there was two long tags wasn't there, there was two small pieces and I cut them out so they must be here somewhere so I'll bring them and we'll put them in <laughs> right was I going I was going middle with that I think wasn't I so that we could do some decorating down here and uh, so what that's three quarters of an inch from the spine. You inked, yes. I don't know. <laughs> Let's ink it a bit more. Then we can be certain. So yeah, I must just show you what I've been printing because I did promise, didn't I? And then uh, you'll know what I'm going to be playing with for the next few days. because I'm very much, you've got to play with a new toy straight away. <laughs> That's me. Nothing new. A lot of it's just, you know, printed on vellum. It's just rediscovering it again. But, um, yeah, some different things that I haven't printed on vellum before. Some, some digitals. I had a feeling for a minute that I'd... Um, I'd glued that all the way around. Wouldn't put it past me. Love that, Alice. And my black lace always goes nice with Tanya's kits because she loves the the brown sort of neutrally grungy colours. So my lace always goes. Yeah, that pulls in nice and like it. Okay, so still quite a lot of em embellishing to do. Um, a couple of tags. Well, not quite a lot of embellishing, but a bit of embellishing. A couple of tags, some lace down there, and we wanted this in. Where was we going with this? Let's put this in and give it a place, and then uh, I won't be stressing over it again. Now I could have the plain card there and the uh, chest piece there so that's a nice piece for it if, if we don't find a page with nothing on that that wants something I don't think it will go particularly with the, the florals there is that one that's got the tree on the back so no that was the that was the perfect place I feel okay I'm not going to clip it in for now I'll see if it needs one do you know what I'm feeling I'm feeling like one of these journals would be nice with a wrap round coming out round there might do that with the next one. Yeah, but I definitely want to lay some beads this just because I only did the three hole. And the next one's going to have the five hole. So I've got these lovely, not all necessarily going in, but some of them might be. And uh, yeah, that lovely journal card. Oh, and I've got the smaller one of these. Haven't I? I'm waiting for it to dry to go in. Yeah, so a little bit more embellishing yet. No, not dry yet. I'll just put you on top. Okay, so you'll see that again next week and it'll be done and dusted. What have I got? What have I got here? Oh, I just I just printed this. This is um this is a page from last year's kit. Um I think I think it's Tanya's but I can't remember. Um so just the the blue and the peach on the other side, just in case I, I needed it for, you know, tags and things, but oh this is this is one of the freebies, a sneak peek of uh Tanya's years new. I wonder if I can do this without stopping the camera. Ooh. Tanya and Anine's new collaboration. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, and that's it printed on 
white paper so it's very very blue don't know how well the camera's showing it up and that's it printed on the cream or champagne paper and it's still blue but it's a it's more um, an eggshell blue than a <laughs> than a, a you know a summer sky blue if you like um whoops yep i know that's not yeah they, i think these are freebie pages as well they are so some beautiful blue uh green not blue <laughs> your eyes aren't deceiving you it's green uh, full pages and these now i know these are these are from the kit but i'm not showing you any of the kit pages just labels so i printed them two to a page so this one's from tanya's with all the green i mean there's some i have to tell you when this kit comes out on the first of march i'm sure tanya will be telling you about it soon there are some really different pieces in it that you don't not you know that i've not seen in kits before really nice um and yeah these are what i've printed off these are from nanines so was that yeah one on white and then i did them two to page on the cream just so i've got a mixture so green various green labels and pastels i was so desperate to you remember for some pastel labels i found a few and i made some but i do like them with the you know the edge that's what i can't do that edge round so this is in nanine's side of the new kit and then i've done those two to a page on the on the cream so i just needed to show you those they're not freebies they're in the kit okay vellum now right, i got a, i got a line down this one but i did down down some of my butterflies when i cut them out you couldn't tell so this is nanine's rulers on vellum they're going to be fabulous aren't they uh, for um ephemera this was the first thing i thought about i did the butterflies then i thought oh those clocks so yep yeah, vintage clocks add-on kit this is from nanine um this is a full page now of course you could make them smaller print them two to a page and there's two other pages in the kit of bigger clocks so you could print those two to a page and but you know they're going to be lovely on you know when you want something on a page like this but you, you don't want to like hide what's what's behind it you know you can put look at the clock in the corner and then you can still see the image behind it can't wait to play with them um so then i was like right what else what else <laughs> so um this is Tanya's from Tanya's. She's got a whole, uh, I don't know how many pages, lots of pages of stamps that you can print out in a kit on her, in her Etsy. So I printed these out. Again, they're going to be good on things where you want to put something, but I mean, look at the colour of them with a the background behind them. Just beautiful. Oh, these are freebies. So these are freebies, uh, again, on Tanya's site. I think I showed you them before. Uh, but on that one so a couple of clocks so it's one big page you can see i've printed four to a page there one great big page with two clocks on it but now i've got them in vellum oh there it is look that's it it's on the cream paper and there are some other pages so there they are for a minute i was thinking why else should give me pictures of <laughs> these and then i realized it's for the tea party so they're cakes <laughs> cakes to cut out for your tea pie because we've got cup and saucer haven't we? we've got coffee pots and teapots and we've got other desserts in last year's kit now we've got cakes now these two i've printed out big as well so these are freebies look and i'm not sure if these yeah these must be on a, a freebie page now i've only just got these but so find the matching kits down the rabbit hole at uh, collage type and Ted's treasure there you go if you want to have a look at it love this chap he was in last year's kit and of course the flowers are beautiful now these both printed on cream and you get a very different different again when you print them on white so it's like having two different things look i just started to lose some ink there but yeah beautiful what are these oh i didn't intend to show you these but i will <laughs> as soon as i've been printing anyway this is another kit from uh, birds you know i've got a bird a bird one coming up um journal so the, this is just a kit an ephemera kit or an embellishment kit whatever you want to call it in tanya tatty treasures etsy yeah <laughs> just was all my other printing so i had a right old a right old print okay so um thank you so much for uh, waiting until i came back and for joining me today yeah i'm still really enjoying uh, sharing my mates with you so i will be back tomorrow and yeah i think we'll finish i'll try to finish the beginner's journal tomorrow 
the uh, that green covered one because it's sitting on the corner of my desk and we really need to to move it along don't we um i can't remember where i was up to but i might have to look at the video and see see what we're going to do i have a phoenix page edge decorations on there um but yeah go on and get those freebies if nothing else if you haven't got them because honestly there's some lovely lovely stuff in there and um yeah i'll see you next thursday with all this and we'll finally put it all together okay i hope you have a lovely lovely day and bye for now